Okay, hello friends, I must show you what I did in Krikaku quickly switch between upper uh, upper layer and uh, uh, and uh, layer which is on the bottom. As you can see, I switch between layers using uh, arrow keys on my keyboard. I did it uh, by assigning shortcut keyboards. You have to go to settings, uh, configure Krika, my keyboard shortcuts, and I will check. Uh, you have to choose the option activate next layer. Uh, this is. Uh, okay. What okay, I gig? I have to show you. Activate l next layer, activate previous layer, and you have to uh, choose the option uh, uh, this, and you press uh, uh, on your keyboard uh, arrow. When I gig that, I select gig, activate gig, activate next layer, you have to choose custom. When you press on this, you choose back down on your keyboard. What we got here? Aha, we just get it. You, you can also save load your shortcut keyboards. Oh no. I shouldn't catch this. But nothing happened wrong. But you have to export your keyboard preset, export a scheme, or export... What is this? I don't know this. But I will use this option. You can uh, also use a uh, save custom shortcuts. I'm not sure about uh, this, but I will probably do that. Krika 4.2.8 keyboard presets. I am using my current name. What extension is this? We need to check extension of the file. Mm. Also, we have option, you can still import, load, import, load the custom shortcuts. Oh, Krika can be confusing sometimes. But as you can see, you have to use activate next layer, which is up. Activate previous layer, this one, which is on the bottom. And I no longer have to use uh, my cursor. As you can see, I, I can quickly use the arrow keys on my keyboard. I hope you like this video. I wanted to publish it because I'm using uh, paint layer. Also, use uh, another name for top layer if you paint if you paint your character. Because I want to do animation of my character. This really changes things uh, this is really game changer. Krika is game changer. I like this program. I hope you like this video. I would like to publish another one about saving workspaces. Because this is important as you can see. But I will talk in another topic about this.